Good morning. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn. So good morning and welcome to Breaking Dawn this morning. My name is Stefan Rees and I'll be here with you until, you know what, 8 o'clock. It is Monday morning, people. That's right, Monday morning. And uh, I do hope that you all had a terrific weekend. I know I had a terrific weekend. With the exception of Liverpool dropping some points at United, when we should have really obliterated them. Eh? You know, it could have really end up nine, nine it could, they could have really get nine, you know. We threw very real goals yesterday, boy. A Manchester United man messaged me after the game. He said, well, boy, I'm, I'm glad for the one point, but United throwing away too much games this season. I don't know if he checked the stats. <laughs> I don't know if he checked the stats, but we had something like 28 shots. I, 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 I in line, boy. Uh, Salah, Nunes, Sobaslai. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time we threw away so many goals, boy. Oh, gosh. It was ridiculous yesterday. But that, nevertheless, a point... Uh, in second on goal difference, Arsenal have a better goal difference than me. But um, I guess Arsenal still had to go to United, they still had to visit Old Trafford. So who knows? But um, one thing for sure, Liverpool had to keep winning. All right? So outside of that, was a good weekend. You know what I mean? Was I? Um, I think last night was, not telling them, these fellas, they say, you just watch that. WrestleMania, boy, night one and night two. Yeah, no, last night was it. Yeah, you know, wrestling going to a different level, you know. WWE going to a different level, you know. They going to, and when they, go, when they hit Netflix, well, boy. But this weekend was, yeah, pretty much entertaining, I must say. Tiring yesterday because I went and do a bamboo cathedral, remember? Ron Stefan Run is April 28th. The days are ticking away. People are calling to find out certain things. Some people are. Um, called uh, yesterday pertaining to what they're seeing on the site and I think that was a little oversight too because I think last year we had that same issue where we for they forget to put in central oh gosh my central people so they're seeing north south east west but nothing for central so that will be added today um, also uh, what will be added today on the site will be the t-shirt size for your children 12 and under so it's zero dollars and zero cents you don't have to pay anything to register your child 12 and under, but um, you do have to put the t-shirt size. All right, so we'll know. And we'll have at least an account of how much t-shirts we need to print um, as it relates to the children. For those of you, let me tell you something, eh? I tell you only no way. Eh? You see, for those of you with your children 12 and under, we, we, we're not taking any registration from the absolutely free. The later you wait to register, I cannot guarantee that your child is going to get a t-shirt. Because your car come Thursday to register and the run is Sunday morning and expect that we're going to be able to make those orders. It just not, it cannot be guaranteed. It is ridiculous to even think that you could come the Thursday or the Friday and come last minute rush to say, well, I have a child 12 and under, you know, I want to register them. They will still get a jersey. I can't guarantee that. It'd be ridiculous to even entertain the thought. So my advice to you is do it early now. You know, I know Trinidadians who like to do things early, but do it early now so that we could assess how many T-shirts we have to get, how many T-shirts we have to print. You know, we already printed our basic, the sizes. Last year, I think the, the, the majority of the sizes were small and medium, which is expected because it's runners. Um, people ask about dry fit. No, you're in a cotton jersey. You don't know dry fit business. Um, maybe next year we'll look at dry fit. But you see, this year we're doing it for the Diabetes Association. And 
you know, un, you know, interestingly, somebody told me the cotton jerseys was more expensive than driving. But I'll double check that. I'll double check that today. I will see where we are. But nevertheless, um, we're getting ready. I getting ready. My legs are in serious, serious pain this morning. Um, but but you know, nevertheless, we 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 on we on course. And as a matter of fact, yesterday I got a very interesting message from a plumbing company who's willing to sponsor a prize as well. I'll tell you about that after the break when I'm telling you a little more about the run. But for now, we want to get into the news here this morning. And as we get into the news here this morning, fire in his eyes. A firefighter closes his eyes tightly in an effort to shut out the smoke as he battles a bush blaze on Balizia Avenue, San Fernando, on Sunday. The Fire Service Association of Trinidad and Tobago last week complained of a gross lack of personal protective equipment needed for its officers to fight the nation's fires. Look at on the front page here. You understand? He has, he has no protective gear on his face or his head because they don't have any. But he had to go out there and fight a fire. Bravo, TNT. Bravo. This is, this is what you all wanted, right? Well, here we are. Ex-prison officer, age 63, among seven murders over the weekend. Seven murders over the weekend. Murder at Union Hall, man. Hmm. A retired prison officer was among seven killed over the weekend as the... Uh, what? I, I'm not too sure about this word, you know. Bloodletting? I think that's a typo. That ought to be an error. Um, I will put as the bloodshed across the country continued. I think that's what they mean to say. Uh, bringing the murder toll to 156 for the year on Sunday. Of the latest victims is Victor Williams. And his picture in the paper here, Victor Redo Williams. You have a familiar looking face, boy. Huh. Um, of Union Hall, San Fernando, he was a retired prison officer who was shot to death during a botched robbery attempt on Sunday morning in Pleasantville. So he is one of seven murdered over the weekend. We going nice, eh? Yeah. Man found dead in Tunapuna. Tunapuna again. Fire officers face blaze without PPE in San Fernando. You all can take a read in that. That's on page five. On page six, Kamala says UNC made government lay EBC report claiming vindication after what was described as context, uh, sorry, consistent pressure from the UNC. Opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bissessa in a statement claims government will lay the Elections and Boundaries Commission's EBC 2024 report in Parliament on Monday. The statement said late on Friday evening, government indicated through a parliamentary order paper that it would lay the report in Parliament on April 8th. Um, Prasad Bissessa said, this follows my recent threats of legal action and a formal query to the Election and Boundaries Commission. And you could read more on that um, on page six. Um, a little bit lower down from that, Al-Rawi res Al responds, calling it a storm in a teacup. Cops move quick to nab Shagona's bandit. Lee accuses government of seven deadly sins in energy sector. And those seven deadly sins are laid out in an article here on page seven. Karani cremation for ex-judge senator, um, that's Amrika Tewari Reddy. Uh, in Dar Singh repeats call for PPE for firefighters. Body of missing Maruga man found off precipice. Catholics march against political and social ills on Mercy Sunday. Roman Catholics gathered in their numbers to make a two-hour trek from Harris Promenade to Presentation College, San Fernando, in a Mercy Sunday March. 
to pray for the political and social ills plaguing this country and the world. Oh boy. I'm going to turn the page on that, yes? Anyhow, um, well, those are the headlines in the paper today. Let me see if we have anything else here. We have serve all announcing board changes. You know, um, and those are the headlines in the paper this morning. What else we got here? What we have in sport, boy? TT Cyclist wins Pan Am Sprint Crown. Golden Paul on the double. Mm. Queen Spark apparently beat Power Gen in the cricket. Yeah, man. I tell you, we're getting into the sports, you know. We're getting into the sports, you know. We had to energize our sector. All right? Nice, man. Nicholas Paul, man. We got talent, we got talent. We had to, we had to, we had to energize that talent. Unfortunately, we haven't been doing that for a very, very long period of time. All right? Um, in the meantime, that's it for the news day. You can pick up the news day at a news stand near you. Uh, in the meantime, what we want to do is give you a little information from our good friends uh, with the Keolic Blood Pressure Formula 109. Yeah? And um, this is for healthy blood pressure balance. And uh, the Keolic Blood Pressure Health Formula 109 is combined with that aged garlic extract. It is doctor developed and uh, it's doctor developed using that quality assured Keolic garlic aging process. And the Formula 109 is effective in lowering blood pressure and cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of gingivitis, easing stress, improving gut microbiota, and much more. So, it supports cardiovascular health, immune health, and gut health. And you could find it at a leading pharmacy or health store nationwide. For more information, pick up the phone and call or WhatsApp 728-0338. That is 728-0338. The number is on the screen. Please organize yourself and get your hands on the blood pressure formula 109. Yeah. Uh, Van Egmond. Oh, sorry. Yeah, leave this one up. So, uh, Chef Shiraz has the certificate in culinary arts, and this starts on Saturday, the 4th of May. It will end on the 27th of July. The duration is 12 weeks, and it will take place every Saturday and Sunday. The time will be 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Location, Ramsing Plaza in Shogonas. Now, there is a payment plan available, and when you, when you call Chef um, on the numbers on the screen there, 37246390 or 7375097. When you call him to get yourself registered, you will get more information on all the course has to offer. Um, but the chef jacket and the apron and all the raw material will be included. And at the end of the course, they do offer internship, mentorship, uh, development, and job opportunities. And this is certified by the CTS College. Um, we also have Van Egmon, the magic soil for all plants. And you can pick it up at the Freeport Agro Center, which is opposite the Freeport Police Station. You can give them a call on 7909247 or 4964603. And uh, you can pick up your bag of Van Egmon, the magic soil, today. Do not delay. Get your hands on the magic soil. Also, I want to remind you guys that Morelli, yep, Morelli, uh, Realty, of course, um, the real estate company that only deals in excellence and uh, company dominating the real estate industry with effective charismatic marketing strategies. And Morelli Realty is a name synonymous with trust, quality, and determination. So join them and embark on that journey to turn your real estate aspirations into a reality. And you can give them a call on one of the many numbers on the screen there. There are six numbers, six agents that you could call, um, Elicia, Tashona, Davian, Christy, Halima, Anais. Um, you can call any one of them and um, you can get yourself going um, in terms of any property you're looking to rent, um, you're looking for rent, um, you're looking to put on the market for sale or maybe you're looking to purchase um, 
whatever you, you want to do in that world of real estate, they can assist you with that. You can check them out on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram for more information. That is Morelli Realty. All right? And we also have uh, AJ Academic. Yep. AJ Academic. Well, um, on the 13th of April, which is just a few days away, as a matter of fact, it's uh, this coming weekend. Um, the global universities, the local institutions, um, establishments, and dignitaries will all be available to you as you explore your options in law, uh, whether it's your LPC, BPC, LLM, GDL, SQE, US Bar, Business, Finance, Psychology, Sciences, Engineering, uh, Arts, Humanities, and more. Um, admission is absolutely free, but at the Hilton Trinidad on the 13th of April from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., um, the AJ Academic, um, they are having the University Fair uh, 2024. All right, this will be at the conference center. And like we say, admission is absolutely free. So make sure and put it in your notebook as something that you could participate in uh, this weekend. And for more information on it, all you have to do is uh, email your inquiries to <coughs> ajacademicagency at gmail.com. And bookings and registration are available at www.ajacademicagency.com. You could also call or WhatsApp the following numbers. That is 302-1927 or 362-6944. All right. So if you're looking at studying in the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, Germany, Ireland, Dubai, or online, um, it is available to you at the University Fair 2024. All right. As they say, meet your match. All right. With that, we're going to take a break. When we come back from the break, I'll give you a little information on the Run Stefan Run and Gigi's Travel, who is the proud sponsor of that trip for two to Grenada. Yes, some lucky person is going to win a trip for two to Grenada. Airfare and hotel accommodations paid for. The trip is worth $10,000. And the only way that you can be eligible for that trip is by registering for Ron Stefan Ron and coming out on Sunday, uh, April 28th at QRC, where we will be gathering. That is the base. We will be basing there and we're going to leave from there. That is where the starting point and the finishing point is. So stay tuned. We'll be back after this. to Adams Optical where we offer free comprehensive eye exams and you can also get full single vision or bifocal glasses for only $5.95. We have a wide selection of frames and shades for everyone and we specialize in contact lens examination. Find us on Facebook or visit us in store. Adams Optical Are you stressed and worried by problems? Then meet Priest Santoshji. Priest is specialized in palm, face, photo, date of birth reading and gives solutions to problems in marriage, relationship, love, business, job, health and removes all black magic, negativity, bad luck permanently and gives good luck and lifelong protection. Then call Priest Santoshji 384 3844. That's 384 3844. Green Dot continues to deliver internet connectivity to a wide range of communities in Trinidad. With our combination fiber and wireless network, you get the service you need wherever you live. Stream your favorite shows, enjoy online tuition, stay in touch with your work team and connect with friends and family with internet service at a price you can afford. As communities continue to grow, we continue to deliver. Call 224-GDOT or visit gd.tt today. Green Dot, improving and simplifying lives. Forget about bucket lists. We want to know what's on your best life list. Vacation, education, renovation, celebration. Live your best life with Island Finance. 
Visit a branch near you or islandfinancetrinidad.com and live your best life now. You can depend on Island Finance. Subject to credit approval and documents verification. The best buys and best savings are at JTA Supermarkets. Happy Coconut Milk Powder, 5 for $19.99. Maribel Peas and Carrots, 3 for $19.99. Island Pride Sardines, 4 for $19.99. Santa Rosa Chicken Vienna Sausage, 4 for $19.99. May Pride Sweet Kernel Corn, 3 for $19.99. Mabel's Peanut Butter, 2 for $19.99. Easy Wrap Aluminum Foil, 2 for $19.99. Carlton's Choice Paper Tower Roll, 4 for $19.99. And Island Pride Laundry Detergent, 2 for $19.99. And so much more. Specials valid until April 7th, 2024. JTA Supermarkets, where your total bill always costs less. The Art of Reggae Musical Festival on Sunday, May 12th, starring Marsha Griffiths and Friends. I see the fire spreading. Freddie McGregor. I'm not longing to see you. I want to know how. Tanya Stevens. Busy Signal. Itana. Kimani Marley. Davir, Lady G, Cotty Rang, Tony Gregory, Dwayne Stevenson, and special guest live performance, Christopher Ellis. Lots of other special guest artists performing live. The Arts of Reggae, Sunday, May 12th, at 5001 Flamingo Road in Miramar. Purchase tickets online now at caraptix.com forward slash Arts of Reggae. For more info, Marsha Griffiths and Friends at gmail.com. Marsha Griffiths and Friends on Sunday, May 12th, celebrating 60 years. And remember, enough surprise special guest artists. Don't miss it. Powered by the Art of Reggae Music Festival and I, and I Radio. My parents' generation grew up with Royal Castle from the first restaurant in 1968 when that distinctive tempting aroma hit the air. Like never before, fried chicken with a special blend of local seasonings and a one-of-a-kind flavor down to the bone. Today, Royal Castle still have that same delicious taste, and I love it too. And the kids, they have more to enjoy. For me, the castle is more than just nice food. It's we own, part of me and you, and it's the real flavor of TMT. Unlock the door on a global journey to invest in real estate in the United States. Introducing Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Their real estate experts will guide you through every step of buying, selling, leasing, and business sales, providing a seamless experience as you invest or relocate. Explore the diverse range of properties from beachfront, condos, luxury, residential, and commercial, and unlock the incredible opportunities the United States has to offer. Their affiliated companies provide property management, property insurance, financial and so much more. So let them guide you through the process, ensuring a smoother transition. With offices conveniently located in South Florida, you can contact them today and let your international real estate adventure begin. Call them directly at 1-561-459-4361 or WhatsApp 1-561-574-2846. Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Offering respect, relationships, and results. All runners for the biggest 5K event of 2024 with over $30,000 in cash and prizes, including a $5,000 first prize up for grabs and medals for all participants. And one lucky person will win a trip for two to Grenada, worth $10,000 courtesy GG's Travel. Run, step on run, 5K and fun walk with part proceeds going to the Diabetes Association of TNT. Sunday, 28 April, warm up courtesy Empower Fitness at 6 a.m. Race starts at 6.30. 30 a.m. sharp at QRC. Register online at TrimbagoEvents.com or walk-in registration at Diabetes Association, Success Street in Chaguanas, Adams Optical, Chaguanas, and San Fernando, and Synergy TV, Arapita Avenue, Woodbrook. For more info, go to Stephen Reese Production on Facebook or call 7302588 or 4825531. Sunday, April 28th. Compete, support sport, and support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. Free electricity for your home and business. Are you tired of paying high electricity bills month after month for security cameras, power gates, lighting, appliances, entertainment, and air conditioning? Then call Solar Ready, the number one solar energy company to call in Trinidad and Tobago. They will show you how much money you can save each month on your electricity bill. Come and see how they can help you with your partial or complete transition from traditional electricity to solar power for your home and business. See why so many homes and business owners trust and depend 
depend on their professional staff to design and install a solar energy system to meet their energy needs. It's hot outside, cool inside. Get an affordable site visit to estimate what costs may be applied. Free quotes and assessments. Just contact Solar Ready at 333-2818 or visit their website at www.solarready.org. Situated at PTSC Transit Mall, Kwesi, San Juan. All right, people, so we're back. We're 24 minutes past the hour of 6 o'clock. It is breaking dawn. Good morning to you. Um, yesterday on the trail, on the Bamboo um, Cathedral Trail, a lot of people, um, while I was coming back down, there were some people coming up, they say, good topics, good show. Don't stop. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Ting, ting, ting. Um, you know, that, and I just say that to, to give you all the idea of, of you know, you just, need, you, just, you just need gas, you know, to keep going in this job. And, 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 you know, one of the best forms of fuel is when, you know, you're out in public and you see people out there and they, they engage you in, in, in good conversation. No hate, no animosity, no, no bias, no, no, you know, no, no, no political pulling and tugging, but just, you know, just complimenting you and recognizing that, you know, you're dedicated to something and this is what you do. Um... No, because this, this burns you out. It is tiring. I mean, I could tell you all that. It is tiring. It, it's exhausting. Um, not so much from a physical standpoint, but mentally, it, it, it is exhausting. Right? And it takes its toll in different ways. You know, but, but, but when, people, when people, you know, tell you these things, when you see them in public, you don't know them, they just know you from watching you on television or, or social media or whatever. And um, they, 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 keep it, they tell you to keep going. You know, sometimes that's just if you will, you need to, to kind of re-energize you. You know, you know that kind of way? And um, yeah, it, 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 it really puts you in a different mindset. Because I tell you, I walking up the cathedral yesterday morning and boy, you know, I ain't lying. I ain't as fit as I used to be, a, a year older from last year, a 10 years older from, from when I started in this whole exercise and fitness thing. And, you know, it, 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 it really, really, you really had to set your mind to things. You know, I met a lady by the ATM in, in, in Scotiabank. And um, she said, you can't, you, can't, you can't lose back that weight. You've done, you done too old. You get back old and thing and your, your age and... I just want to tell our lady this morning, let me tell you something, yeah? Once I set my mind and I make up my mind to do something, and any human being, eh, it will be done. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you, anything you set your mind to do, you could do it. It's just, it's, it's just a mental thing, you know? That's all it is, you know? It's a mental thing. And, and what happens to us, I guess, in our daily lives is that we're trying to achieve things, but we have so many obstacles coming in our way, um, so many things that kind of keep us back and slow us down, that we focus on that rather than the, the main event. And those are what you call the distractions in life. So if you focus on the distractions, you will be distracted and you will not move forward and achieve what you set out to achieve. So you've got to be mentally strong, mentally fit in order to deal with anything in life, right? All right, so having said that, um, we're getting ready for Run, Stefan Run. Let me get on to business one time. We're getting ready for Run, Stefan Run. This is the biggest 5K for the year, and it will be April 28th, Sunday, April 28th. $5,000 up for grabs to the winner, male and female. Male and female, same price and structure, same money, same everything. $5,000 to the winner. Now, the reason why we set the second, the third, the fourth at such attractive price money as well is because I know, you know, it are people who cover in sports. So when they look and they see somebody better than them, they will think twice about entering and spending and, and forgetting that it's a donation they're giving, you know, to the Diabetes Association as well, you know. You know, they're starting to win now. They're starting to win. 
So that is why, let me tell you something, the 3,000, the 2,000, the 1,000, the fifth place, the sixth place, and the seventh place prize, no other 5K in Trinidad to be good that I know about does give cash prizes up to seventh place. Hell, they don't even get cash prize up to fifth place. So at least you know if you're on fifth, sixth, seventh, you would have never get a prize elsewhere, but there is a prize to get in this event. You also have the opportunity to win yourself a trip for two to Grenada. Could you see Gigi's travel, a trip worth $10,000. Three nights, four days. All right? Gigi's travel. Big them up. All right? And Gigi's travel, they got two offices. Um, one in Separia at the Gans Lane in Separia and the other in San Fernando at room 109 Cross Crossing Shopping Plaza. That's Lady Hills Avenue in San Fernando. They are fully computerized. They have access to all social media networks. Facebook, um, Gigi's Travel Limited, Instagram, Gigi's Travel underscore limited. And if you want to WhatsApp them, it is 479-0145. That is 479-0145 or 478-7806. That is 478-7806. And you can also email them at Gigi's Travel at hotmail.com. And this provides services like visa assistance, travel insurance, cruises, hotels, car rentals, flights, ferry, down to the ferry service in Trinidad and Tobago. They, they link you up with that as well. So check out Gigi's Travel and handle your business with, with them when it comes to anything to, to do with travel. As a matter of fact, I am going to be calling them after the run because I need to organize my visa. All right, so Gigi is real talk. All right, I need my visa organized. All right, so Ron Stefan, Ron, we have that trip. We have tons of prizes. Good to see the, the, the but oh God, just look at the bottom of the screen at the, at the amount of sponsors we have, including Smith Robertson. Smith Robertson, another sponsor of Ron Stefan, Ron. We want to thank them for their um, sponsorship as well. Um, and uh, there will be other people, as a matter of fact, like I was saying. I, mean, I want to get the name of the company correct eh? before we just get into the topic here this morning. Um, oh, God. Somebody messaged me. I hate when that happened. When you're going to WhatsApp and you're going to search and somebody messages you at the same time you press search. Um, I just want to get this correct. Right, look at here. So, RA Plumbing and Hardware. Um, which is located at Karani Savannah Road in uh, Shagonas, Charlieville, Shagonas. Uh, they are willing to sponsor two tickets to Tobago. And those two tickets to Tobago will be given to the person in the 60 plus age group. Right? Whoever comes in first, 60 plus, that is one of the prizes you're going to get. A trip for two, not a trip for two. But you're going to get two tickets to Tobago. So they sponsor two tickets. I'm going to say a trip here because a trip includes hotel accommodations and things. But you get your trip for two to Tobago for, for 60 plus. So we have um, RNA Plumbing and Hardware that have messaged me yesterday to sponsor that. I want to thank Adbags as well. I have to go there today and, and take a look at the sample of the bags for the goodie bag and so on and so forth. But everything's shaping up well. All we need now is your registration, your participation. How do you register? You go to trinbagoevents.com. If you have any problems, and I'm saying this and I'm stressing on it, because people keep calling and asking, and I'm like, but do they not listen to the program? If you have any problems with your registration online, call this number, 482 5531. That is 482 5531. For any other queries, Concerning registration, 730-2588. That is 730-2588 or 759-8504. Those are the numbers you could call. All right? Go through the process. Everything is going to be done like clockwork. All right? Also, walk-in registration is available. You could go to Adams Optical in Chagonas and San Fernando. You could go to the Diabetes Association 
in Shogonas, Success Street in Shogonas, or you can come right here at Synergy TV between the hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday for now, with the exception of Wednesday this week, which is a holiday. So Monday to Friday in, in, in normal work week, you could come to Synergy TV and you can get yourself registered between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. for now. Within the last week or so, you could come from the time break and don't finish. But for now, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., Kelmo will be here. All right, so you could walk in, register, right? That's cash walking, cash registration. So people do it as early as possible. I beg in all you. Let me get on to brass stacks and business now. All right. Hey, I like we do with all the sponsors in the banner there, boy. You're walking, boy. Hey, hey. All right. Brent Thomas. Now, just to give you a little reminder of the Brent Thomas situation. Brent Thomas is the arms dealer that was traveling to go see his cardiologist. And he, he stopped off in Barbados. And he was then taken from his hotel, put on a plane, and flown back to Trinidad. Right? A judge in Trinidad and Tobago labeled what happened to Brent Thomas as an abduction. Yes? The Barbados Attorney General and even our Attorney General and our government denied that it was an abduction and took offense, I believe, to the term abduction. Now, let's give you a little reminder of everything that took place after that. We'll go back to me last year with a few reports and then I will engage you with the, with the current record with Brent Thomas. So give me the, um, in, in, in accordance to the rundown there, what's the first clip? The Prime Minister defending? Oh, the Bajan, the Barbados AG. Give me what the Barbados AG said. Mr. Speaker, I can confirm that no request was made for the extradition of Mr. Thomas. The Trinidad and Tobago High Court has characterized what transpired in Barbados on October 5th last year in relation to Mr. Thomas as an abduction. That is unfortunate language. From the reports that I have received, I am satisfied that the actions of the Barbados Police Service have fallen somewhat short of applicable legal norms, such as acting under an extradition request. I, however, cannot associate myself with the description of the actions of the Barbados police officers as an abduction or, as has been elsewhere described, as a kidnapping. It is evident, Mr. Speaker, that the Barbados police service sought to assist a sister police service in a matter which appeared to them to be of grave and important nature and especially so given the scourge of firearm violence that is now a feature in Barbados and across the Caribbean. It is my view, Mr. Speaker, that they rendered that assistance without any mental element of criminality that would be associated with an abduction. Okay. So that was back in May 2023, I believe it was, or, or yeah, sometime in 2023 and then the prime minister it, i believe defended um a few people well in terms of the execution of what took place no 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 he demanded sorry a report from the commissioner of police not defending I, if i recall the prime minister demanded a report from the commissioner of police which would have been earlier here with christopher on this matter um take me to that report the so-called abduction of Brent Thomas by the TTPS from Barbados is now having far-reaching implications across two countries at the highest levels. The latest comments are coming from Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. In an interview with The Guardian's Gail Alexander, he said he wants answers from the police, saying he's noting the incident with, quote, grave concern even while distancing his government from any wrongdoing. The Prime Minister saying, I have had grave concerns about all aspects of it, but have not spoken publicly on it for obvious reasons. 
He said, however, a limited government response, as known to us, was appropriately made by the Minister of National Security, who described very clearly the government's lack of involvement in any aspect of this piece of ongoing police work. Now, the Prime Minister says, as a follow-up, I have requested of the Minister to get from the Commissioner a full explanation as warranted by the circumstances and situation without in any way getting involved in the actual police work. I expect to have that shortly and may be able to respond to further inquiries. End quote. Meanwhile, Attorney General Reginald Armo has come to the defense of National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines over comments he made earlier this week. Delivering a statement on social media on Monday, Hines said that criminals have friends everywhere in the country. But in a press release this afternoon, Armo said that after analyzing Hines' statement, and speaking to him, he concluded that it was not directed at the judiciary. Armour says he was in the process of looking into the Thomas case as well and was awaiting advice from his legal team on appealing the outcome. Now, this saga all began last week when High Court Judge Javindra Rampasad upheld Brent Thomas's case in which he claimed that the police committed numerous breaches of his constitutional rights in prosecuting him on seven firearm charges. In his judgment, Justice Rampus had leaned heavily on the fact that Thomas was abducted by local police officers in Barbados and forcibly returned to Trinidad to be charged. Kijan Haynes, CNC3 News. Right. Interesting Heinz comment here eh? because the Law Association of Trinidad and Tobago responded to Heinz comment when he said that criminal elements have friends in the judiciary. It's interesting that somebody could make that statement and then the Attorney General jumps out and say that the statement wasn't directed at the judiciary. He said, criminal elements have friends in the judiciary. But the Attorney General, in response to that, says it wasn't aimed at the judiciary. So then who is it aimed at? Criminal elements? Anyway. The Law Association got involved at that point and they, 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 um, they ventilated their thoughts on the whole situation and particularly condemned the minister for making that statement that criminal elements have friends in the, in the judiciary, right? And uh, I believe the Attorney General also sought to kind of clear up the matter through an apology in Parliament last year. Give me the AG, apologize. Attorney General Reginald Amor confirming government has filed an appeal to parts of Justice Devinja Rampasad's ruling in the Brent Thomas arrest. He called it, quote, a grave error. Now, by appealing, the AG said the TTPS should be allowed to continue the substantive investigation into Thomas. What the government will not appeal, because they concede, is that Brent Thomas's removal from Barbados to Trinidad and Tobago was unlawful, since the Central Authority Unit, responsible for extradition matters, was not consulted for advice. Amor read from an affidavit by the office of the DPP, which said that advice was given to the TTPS with respect to a warrant for Thomas, but it did not say how the warrant was to be done, and if arrested, how Brent Thomas was to be returned to Trinidad. He said the Barbados authorities were simply trying to help. I offer to the government and the Royal Barbados Police Force my apologies for the slur which has been cast on the actions of the Royal Barbados Police Service, who, consistent with the law and their oaths of office, were assisting the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. The AG declined to say more, saying the DPP's affidavit will likely be considered by the Commissioner of Police in the investigation of her officers. AJ Moore said he agreed with Barbados AG Dale Marshall's request and the government should ratify the CARICOM Arrest Warrant Treaty. Armour fought against pressure from the opposition to get this and any point across because they believed it was sub judice. Judges at first instance may make Mr. errors. Mr. Deputy Speaker, I rise on standing order 48 2 on the matter of this being sub judice. Is the same Brett Thomas that took up the question time? Is that the same Brett Thomas is talking about now? Is it, is, it, is it an appeal and therefore is it? Sub judice. The Attorney General has just started his, his discourse and I'm going to give him his opportunity in order to make a statement keeping in line with the ruling of the sub judice rule. 
The opposition believe the Attorney General abused parliamentary privilege to attack a judge and his ruling. But Armour said judges at first instance may make errors and the Court of Appeal exists to correct those errors. Kijan Haynes, CNC3 News. All right. So <laughs> they sought to apologize. They sought to um, say, you know, warrant was issued. The, the directive as to how that warrant was to be executed was not laid out. There was no consultation. The Barbados police were just acting um, in terms of assisting their, their, their Trinidad and Tobago counterparts. So they, 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 everything was inside of there. Now, the latest development in this is that Brent Thomas. Or well, not Brent Thomas, actually, because Brent Thomas has taken the matter to, to, to court, right? And the Barbados government, or Barbados, has, has to pay for, his, for the gun dealer's arrest now. I'll put up the headline for me, not the Brent Thomas. Put up the headline for me. And that's why I read piece of this and we open the phone line. Because this was, a, this was a big, big issue just a few years ago. Um, the Barbados government now has accepted blame for the forcible removal of gun dealer Brent Thomas from his hotel room in the Caribbean island by its police force in 2022. In a letter obtained by Newsday, the attorney for Barbados' Attorney General, Dale Marshall, SC, said the island's government had accepted liability on his advice. That, um, they went on to say, I have advised my client that the state of Barbados should accept liability in respect of the claim for breach of Section 18 of the Constitution of Barbados. That section deals with the right to a fair hearing and protection of the law. And Ford's letter also said, in the circumstances, kindly send me a claim on quantum together um, with authorities in support of the same. He also added, I am of the view that many of the documents requested by you touch um, and concern liability which my client has agreed to accept. The parties are locked in negotiations on an agreed settlement which is likely to be substantial. Thomas initiated legal action seeking compensation for the egregious conduct of the Barbadian authorities as well as several declarations relating to his arrest, detention and forced repatriation from the Barbados Police Service, or oh, sorry, by the ba Barbados Police Service. He demanded to know who gave the directive which led to his unlawful abduction from a hotel room in Barbados on October 5th, 2022, as stated by Justice Devindra Rampasad in his ruling on Thomas's constitutional challenge in April 2023. It is well established that individually or uh, cumulatively, members of the Barbados Police Service acted out with the law and refused to afford our client the protection of the law afforded to him by the constitution and the laws of Barbados did not authorize any of the acts of the BPS related to our client which occurred on October 5th 2022 um, this is what Marshall was told by Thomas's attorney in a pre-action protocol letter all right now it, it, the, the article goes on um, to find out who interacted, um, the names of the ministers from Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados who interacted with each other, as well as copies of all correspondence and written communication exchange between them, as well as with any public official or police officer, including those from IMPACTS. All right, um, and of course, IMPACTS is the Implementation Agency for Crime and Security. Uh, that's the Special Law Enforcement Agency of CARICOM, right? They are also asking for the names and or ranks of, of design, uh, designation of the persons from Barbados who received the information from the members of the TTPS or any other party. Long and short story, it appears that they have accepted that somebody gave an order to abduct this man, to use a CARICOM law enforcement agency aircraft to fly to Barbados, visit the hotel room of this man, take him out of his hotel room, put him in a cage, as it has been described in the article. He said he was kept in a cage. Put him in a cage and fly him back to Trinidad. 
Now the question is, who gave that order? Because obviously, the order was not given on legal grounds. 2355325. And I was reading a, a, a release by Gary Griffith yesterday as well, and he said that very soon, the name of the minister, or whomever is involved in Trinidad Tobago that gave that order, that name is going to pop up. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Stefan, and good morning to the viewers at Trinidad and Tobago. I want to tell you, Mr. Brent Thomas, I've known him for many years through the shooting fraternity in Trinidad. <laughs> this vindictiveness by, you remember um, the Minister of National Security just said criminal elements have friends in judici the judiciary? Yes, He's referring yes. to the government. He's referring to this government. This was not vindictiveness against Mr. Brent Thomas because he won certain contracts. The same thing happened to HS, HMS. Uh -huh. dealer who got his premises burned by arson. Well, 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 uh, well, we're hearing about that. We said we don't want to go into no specifics with that, but we're right. hearing certain it's things with that. Government ministers ahead. are involved. Senior government personnel, I, I put in my, my life online saying this. Well, well, right. that's your views, but I can't, I can't make that statement because we don't have any right. um, substantial involved. evidence to support that. Right. But go ahead. But I'm telling you, I'm making the assertions that they are involved in certain underhand things, right? from their own personal gains. Because I made a statement previously. Ministers have the amount of wealth that they have, not because they get a salary from the people at Trinidad and Tobago, uh -huh. because they do the hunting. You see them driving big, expensive, three million dollar, two million dollar cars, having multi-million dollar but, properties, and they add up their salary, yeah. doesn't account to that. Well, well, I think that people are looking, looking now and, and, and paying attention to these things more than before, eh? Um, but the, the, the quality of life and the kind of house and the kind of vehicles that these fellas drive in is like it's like some of the pastors that run in these um, some of these um, places of, of worship. One minute they, they, they have nothing and the next minute they put up a mansion and they have about three cars in the driveway. But this is exactly it in Nigeria. You understand? In Nigeria, Nigeria has seven of the ten most richest pastors in the world and Nigeria is a poor country. Yeah, right? yeah. Right, so you could imagine what these these ministers and the gov these government officials have been doing for years. Yes, like I said, the fish rotten from the head, and this is the uh, problem with this country. Okay. We ain't, we ain't going back, you know. We ain't uh, going back in time. We're going uh, forward into. Have a wonderful day, sir. All right, man. You too. Yep. Two three five five three two five two three five five three two five. I mean, this is basically, and I know, I know they're not going to like this term, but an abduction is a kidnapping. Hello, good morning. Morning, morning. Yeah, what's going on, man? Amidst all the illegalities that are going on, mm. what crime did Brett, Brett Thomas commit? Well, up to now, we don't know. <laughs> and more than likely, Jacob got to end up taking the fall for that. Yeah, that was so, in 2022, that was under Jacob, boy? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, under Jacob. was here in 2022. Yeah, yeah, so more than likely, he will take the fall for that. So mm. this, this matter here is money will go to Brent Thomas in a big scale way. And we, as the ones, will be having to pay that. To pay that again, yeah. yeah. How many lawsuits and that is now that we had to pay the taxpayers? Well, we, we, we lost, we lost track at the count. We, but we have any, it shows we have, in, uh, yeah, it shows the incompetence of, of of the attorney general. Hmm. And that's both and the one, this one and the one before too. Yeah, well, well, I repeat it again for, for another day. This government had to go. <laughs> All right, man, no problem. Yeah, man, you're uh, all good. Day. Cool, man. Two, three, five, five, two, two, five. I'll take a few more calls on this and then we'll get another issue in the second hour um, that has to do with beggars. But we'll get to that in, in, in time to come. Um, hello, good morning. Morning, sir. Morning, go ahead. Mo morning, sir. Yeah, what I'm, what, what I'm saying, this is just smoke that we see now. You understand I me? Mean? It's so shame and disgraceful. And I, I don't know what you want to call names which is because it, it, it is a problem. If you call name, they wouldn't just have something, many things to say. But is the authority responsible for that? Is the whole government responsible for that? Is there no short man, tall man, medium man? Is the whole government is responsible for the negligence is going on in this country? And how long will it go on? And I think it, time is coming short for them. You understand me? Have a nice day. All right, no problem. Um, two, three, five, five, three, two, five, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. Because remember, at the time we were wondering, who gave an order to, and, and more importantly, who, <laughs> because the, the impacts have been drawn into this, the CARICOM agency, who gave that order to use a CARICOM aircraft 
because that was uh, uh, from if I, if I recall correctly, it was a, a Caricom aircraft under impacts that was used to go and pick up Brent Thomas. Hello, good morning. Morning, sir. Yep. Um, which attorney general was at the time um, active? In 2022? Yeah. Paris? Um, at, at the time that this took place, well, if it was Paris or, 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 or Armour Boy, right, might have be been Paris, you know, I'm not too sure. Right. Right, so but the amount, of, the amount of changes, you, you just can't, you know, sometimes exactly. I can't recall the exact, I'll go back and check it though. It's about time the taxpayers be paying a lot of money for people in high offices, right? Yeah. They're getting exemptions, they're getting security, they're getting plenty of things that the, the, the post that they require. Mm -hmm. So when they make a judgment, when they make an error, according, I want to use nice words, when they make an error like this, let the people who in power, who make the, the wrong decisions, let they pay 50% of the costs. Right. This, this, this is mad. It's from the, fact, from the time it, 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 it went off, Remember, this was a, a, a hunt, a witch hunt, I should say, put it into Gary. This was a whole kind of Gary fiasco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? because, yeah, and it was connected there because at the time, directly, they, were, they, were, directly, they were dealing with all these hunting. F wells and, and firearms right. and, yeah, yeah. So, so this is um, Firearm Training Center. They wanted to see stuff from them and it's a whole set of back and all that take place, right? Yeah. He win his case, certain things missing. Right now, he had them in court. Mm hmm and now this the same abduction this is a kidnapping they use police officers they use another country they, 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 they so use they resources state. including CARICOM right. resources to go for so this man which magistrate signed that warrant we need to know that hmm. yeah it's a, this is a different country yes we in CARICOM but this is Barbados you know you see they, they, they give in they don't want this to go to court because they might give them a substantial amount yeah they, they, they say look let me settle because because, because and, Caller, the only, the only time somebody agrees to settle is if they know Wrong. that they're not sitting have ice cream. Right. Yeah. So that is across there. What about down here? Remember, they appeal it. There's a whole set of back and I'll take place. So this attorney general going to appeal it. So, so who, who pay the tax better to pay again? If you're not doing your job properly, why mm. we have to pay for your mistakes? Exactly. Let it, pay, let it put some of the cost of this. I would love let to it put see. Some of the cost. I would love to see the number, a, a number in terms of a figure, the amount of money that the taxpayer has had to pay out, courtesy the incompetence of the government of Trinidad and Tobago over the last eight years. You have a attorney general here that seems to be well spoken, but like he forget. Remember, he have a he have a Alzheimer's. Yeah, he's a memory, memory problem. problem. Yeah. He's right. a memory so he's problem. Yeah. He's forget. Yeah, yeah. You have an attorney general say, uh, you have a next one that is talk plenty again, but he never win a case that I know of. Probably some other place. Hmm. All right. Remember he jumped from a 120 over to a Porsche car, eh? A big leap. Then you know, take care. Yeah, man, no problem. Uh, two, three, five, five, three, two, five, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. And we knew this was coming, you know. We knew this was coming. Because Brent Thomas said, no, little pull me one, you know. You understand? This is a legitimate dealer. He deals in firearms. He's a legitimate dealer. He's licensed to do so. I believe he supplies for the defense force, even in Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. And all of a sudden, in the midst of, of the, the, the Gary Griffith drama and all the FUL back and all back and forth, this man was abducted from Barbados. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Stefan. Yeah, man. If, um... What I want to mention is like Trinidadians and Seco fans that if you watch the Chief sec sec Secretary from Tobago, mm. nobody supporting this, this young fellow. You understand? And that, that Tobago, Tobago, watch on, Tobago make a statement there to watch the system with PNM and, 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 and Cambon and David Mohammed. You understand? They ain't saying nothing. You understand? What that young fellow will fight with, with, without any money to win election in, in Tobago? This young, vibrant um, um, mm. leader. You understand? Why is this wrong with me? 
Um, so, yeah, you're talking about Fali Augustin. Yeah, Fali appears to be a man of the people. He seems to be, um, you know, adored by, by, by a lot of people in Tobago. Um, but I guess we'll see where that admiration is in the next general election. Hello, good morning. Morning, Stefan. Morning, my dear. Every Monday morning, somebody suing the state. By the time the PNN ready to run election again next year, mm -hmm. the manifest could be how much in the budget just for people to sue the state. Yeah. They don't know the laws before they before they enter and doing do things the wrong way. Exactly, Thank because you. even the Barbados Attorney General said that, that there was no request for an extradition. Uh, extradition. Hello? She gone? All right. Even the Bajan AG is saying there was no request for an extradition. Right? So I am I am wondering would was the Barbados police misled? I, for them to, there is no request. So, the, the, you know, the proper process has not taken place, and, and yet members of the TTPS were flown on a CARICOM, um, a CARICOM plane to Barbados to abduct this man. And I'm using the term abduction because if the Barbados government is saying we're liable and that we forcibly we forcibly remove this man from his hotel room and they are willing to pay money and settle. Then the long and short is for all their claims and, and their efforts to try to deny that the man was abducted or kidnapped. It didn't look in so this morning. It looks like it was a kidnapping, like it was an abduction. And somebody gave the order because the TTPS, I very much doubt that the TTPS could pick up the phone and call a CARICOM agency like Impacts and say we need, we, we, you know, we need, we need a flight for some officers to go across the Barbados and, and pick up somebody. I, I am doubting that. I think that has to come from a higher office. And whomever made that decision, whoever made that decision, are waiting to see what are the consequences for that decision that was taken, for that order that was given. Because basically what we're talking about here is that based on absolutely nothing whatsoever, a government was able to use or somebody within in an agency was able to use the resources of not only the local agencies here in Trinidad and Tobago or the agencies in Barbados, but CARICOM and abduct an individual. Take the man out of his hotel room, put him in a cage, put him on a plane and fly him back to Trinidad. Hello, good morning. Final caller in this first segment. Yeah, please. Good morning, Stefan. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Um, you know, you want to know uh, where could you really turn to? Because a matter of this nature, mm -hmm. I mean, here it is that you are seeking to bring up this matter as you are doing. But you want to know where is the opposition? And some callers earlier said time for PNM to go. Time for the opposition to go. Mm. Because the thing about it is that you want to tell me that there is no one, a shadow minister of AG, who has uh, AG in the, in the opposition, mm -hmm. cannot pursue this matter. I mean, mm. you had a situation where um, Senator Lakshmi was pursuing a matter with regard to uh, Mr. Foster Cummins. Uh -huh. Did we hear anything about she bringing it to the attention of the inspector of banks? and insurance companies and financial institutions. No, I didn't, I so didn't see it, up, Mr. Atra. They pick it up, they drop it, and they have nothing. And then you're talking about, we're going to, time for PNM to go. Mm. Right? Time for the opposition to go also. The, the other thing is this. Here it is, Mr. Gary Griffith. While I know that you are sympathetic to him, like we all are. But the fact is, he has announced that he wants to fight um, St. Joseph's seat already. Mm. He screamed, what party are you going up with? The thing about this is that we're looking for an alternative, and I believe that in the U.S. there is need for an alternative. 
But what really are we giving the, the people? Okay. I mean, Gary, that, um, he announced the NT. I was called as a member of the COP and told to be on standby because this person was organizing the, for Griffith to meet with us to organize the party. Okay. Lo and behold, that he was, he, he, the meeting was not being called because he walked in at, um, the political leader in San Fernando, he walked in Arima, but he was not organizing himself. So we we talking about uh, replacing the PNM. What are we doing to really get it? Okay. And this, this is just another matter is, uh, um, with regards to the monies that we are paying through the inefficiency of, of public office holders. Mm. So I am um, Larry Boy Ron, Stefan Ron, yes? Hey, 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 All right, have a pleasant day. Bye. No problem, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, so that's it for calls in this first hour. But let me just let me just lay this out for you. In his legal proceedings in Trinidad and Tobago, Thomas detailed what transpired in his Barbados hotel. He had arrived in Barbados on October the 4th, 2022, en route to Miami to meet his cardiologist, Dr. Cesar Pellarano, and checked into the courtyard at the Marriott Bridgetown. Around 3 a.m. on October 5th, 2022, Whilst asleep in my hotel in Barbados, I was jolted awake by thunderous shouts of police, police, and banging on my hotel door. Upon opening the door, I observed a large group of men dressed in black, armed with guns. These men entered my room. They asked for a copy of my, identi my identification card and luggage, which I showed to them. Thereafter, without being shown a warrant or being given the opportunity to make representation, Despite numerous requests to do so, I was placed in handcuffs and dragged across the hotel floor to a waiting police vehicle, which conveyed me to a police station. In a state of terror, I constantly inquired of the officers as to what was taking place, but I was not given an answer. Instead, I was put in a small cage at the back of a police van and left there until midday. The van was parked outside a police station and was exposed to the elements. At some points during the f this fresh ordeal, I intermittently lost consciousness. My pleas for food, water, and to place a telephone call were refused. No explanation was given as to why I was being detained by the Barbadian authorities. No wonder they had a pay. And Trinidad, you're going to pay to it. Trust me, he go and get money from Trinidad and Tobago too. All courtesy you, the taxpayer, with the money that the country supposedly do have. We'll take a break. When we come back, child beggars. We'll talk about that. Stay tuned. Jazz and wine, or is it Beyond Jazz and Wine? Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Set a stage, the queen amongst the kings, powerhouse vocalist, Mauricia Kagan, saxophone specialist, Malcolm Voice, versatile and captivating, Siggy Rankin, panist extraordinaire, Dane Galston, with his band, Live Sweet Bread, and the chosen one, Ja Melody, will get you off your seats. This event is definitely Beyond Jazz and Wine. Experience this musical journey at the enchanting outdoor garden theater at Queens Hall. Transform into an oasis fit for kings and queens. Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Limited early bird tickets available at Java Nation, Queens Park East, and online at islandetickets.com or call 737-2373. Jazz and Wine. Experience the sweetness over and over again. Ostomy care is a unique and intimate condition that can seem challenging for individuals afflicted by it. At Better Life Ostomy Care, they understand and offer a wide range of products and services that will allow ostomates to lead a better life. From colostomy and urostomy pouches, paste and powders, antibacterial wipes, brava strips, deodorants, gloves, gauze, bed liners, and much, much more. They also have RNK available for ostomy home care with affordable starter packages. No need to look for no 
this or supply everything is just a phone call away. Better Life Ostomy Care is located at number 4 Mosque Street, Carony. You can call them at 308-6709 or 472-5878 or visit their website at www.betterlifeostomycarett.com to find out more about their offerings. You can also write to them at betterlifeostomycarett at gmail.com or find them on Facebook. Better Life Ostomy Care, servicing ostomates with a better quality of life. Hey, 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 this is crazy, Edwin Ayong. Well, you have to be mad if the family not going down to Love Health Store for treatment for them old pain and other health problems, especially uncle who have erectile dysfunction issues. High definition eye drops to remove cataracts, $990. Double barrel arteries cleaner, $295. Colloidal silver immune system builder, $195. Pre-diabetic herbal for diabetes. Reversal, $195. Kidney stone remover, $195. Acacia capsules for fatty liver disease, $195. Hydrolyzed collagen for joint pains, $295. Cranberry capsules for urinary tract infection, $195. Pomegranate capsules to strengthen your heart, $195. Bed and Foot, Ulcer Treatment, $195. T-Tarp Membership Discount, Nationwide Delivery, Love Health Store. Welcome to Morali Realty. Let's delve into the expertise of our dynamic team to understand what sets us apart. We excel in providing personalized solutions for all your rental and purchasing needs. With a keen understanding of the market and unparalleled negotiation skills, we strive to achieve the best outcome for our clients. Guiding clients through every step of the real estate process is our mission. The satisfaction and peace of mind is our top priority. We are committed to upholding the highest standards of integrity and service excellence. Marketing plays a pivotal role in our approach to sales and rentals. Through innovative strategies and targeted campaigns, we showcase properties very effectively. As you can see, our team is equipped with the knowledge, skill, and passion to guide you through your home journey. Give us a call today and let us turn your real estate dream into reality. All runners for the biggest 5K event of 2024 with over $30,000 in cash and prizes, including a $5,000 first prize up for grabs and medals for all participants. And one lucky person will win a trip for two to Grenada worth $10,000 courtesy GG's Travel. Run, step on run, 5K and fun one with part proceeds going to the Diabetes Association of TNT. Sunday, 28 April, warm up courtesy Empower Fitness at 6 a.m. Race starts at 6.30. 30 a.m. sharp at QRC. Register online at TrembagoEvents.com or walk-in registration at Diabetes Association, Success Street in Chaguanas, Adams Optical, Chaguanas, and San Fernando, and Synergy TV, Arapita Avenue, Woodbrook. For more info, go to Stephen Reese Production on Facebook or call 7302588 or 4825531. Sunday, April 28th. Compete, support sport, and support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, roti makers. Try Chic Leisha high quality unbleached bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Bleached flour and bromate flour is treated with chemicals that can cause cancer and this is banned in Europe and many other countries. Chic Leisha flour offers a healthier option being that it's unbleached and bromate free. It also has a finer grain and a softer texture. Lower priced and conveniently packaged in 2 pound, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. Available at groceries and super Markets. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiclisha Limited at 665 3336 or 480 8715 or visit them at Warrenville Canopia. Chiclisha Limited, quality you can trust. All right, so welcome back to Breaking Dawn. We're inside the second hour and uh, we're going to deal with this child begging situation. 
in just a little bit. But before we do that, Keodophilus enzyme and probiotics. Remember to pick it up at a leading pharmacy or a health store near you. When we're talking about Keodophilus, if you're having problems with the IBS, burning stomach, acid reflux, bloating and ulcers, you go pick up a bottle of Keodophilus enzyme and probiotics. It'll fix you right up. 728 that is the number to call or WhatsApp if you want more information on this product. And remember, leading pharmacies and health stores nationwide, they got it. Uh, Chef Shiraz has the Creative International Cuisine Cooking Course. So if you're a budding chef, foodie, or culinary entrepreneur, this is definitely the course for you. You're going to experience hands-on French, Italian, authentic Indian, and pastries uh, that would further inspire your culinary creativity and it is taught by some of the most experienced chefs in Trinidad with international backgrounds. Are we in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. It is a six week course and it will be Saturday and uh, let me see, Saturday the 4th of May until Saturday the 15th of June. All right, so six weeks. Saturday 4th of May, Saturday 15th of June. That is the duration of the course and all raw materials will be provided. There is also a payment plan available as well. Um, certificate of completion given after the course. Remember, limited space is available, so make sure and get yourself registered by calling 3724639 or 7375097 for more details. All right, and to get registered, by the way. Also, Van Egmond, the magic soil for all plants. Remember, you can pick it up at the Freeport Agro Center. All right, Freeport Agro Center, located opposite the Freeport Police Station. This is the magic soil, plants bearing in six weeks. The best soil that you're gonna get. 790-9247 or 496-4603. Those are the numbers to call to get yourself a bag of Van Egmond, the magic soil for all plants, all right? And uh, that's now, eh? Yeah, let's check some here. Right, and of course, Run Stefan Run. We're getting ready for Run Stefan Run. For those of you who have not registered yet, you're sticking. Get yourself registered, all right? We got a ton of sponsors, a lot of people on board. We got tons of prizes for, the, for people um, on the day, some lucky person could see Gigi's travel with that trip for two to Grenada with ten thousand um, dollars. Sixty plus category. The, 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 the winner will get a, um, two tickets to Tobago as well. So let me tell you something. We got lots of prizes. We got cash prizes. Five thousand dollars up for grabs. Over thirty thousand dollars in cash and prizes to be won. As a matter of fact. With the $10,000 Grenada trip, it is safe to say it's over 40000 in cash and prizes to be won. So come out, um, get yourself ready. You do not have to run. You could come and walk, all right? Walking. Let me tell you something. Do not underestimate the power of walking. As a matter of fact, if you ask anybody, well, you know, how do I get into a little training thing and wherever, you know, I haven't been doing anything for a little while. The first thing, any real trainer will tell you is start walking around your block. Just make up, make, just start walking. Just walk around your block. Walk around your street. That's all. And it's, you know, you have level state. So you start walking and you start getting your body in, 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 in that kind of, and your, and your mind, your mental, right? In that kind of routine. And then all of a sudden you find yourself running. You find yourself jogging. And then you start to find yourself running and running a little faster. And then you find yourself doing other things that could only lead to a healthy lifestyle. And what we're trying to do here, we're trying to energize the sports sector. We're trying to promote sports. We're trying to um, promote a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. Part of the proceeds will go to the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago so that they can help children with type 1 diabetes. And I'll get into that even more in the next two weeks next week and the final week you're going to hear from all sorts of people all right so make sure people and get yourself registered it's a terrific event to come to it it's a no party and and rangatang thing it is very simple you show up early sunday morning 
regardless of wherever you're coming from in Trinidad and Tobago, don't make any excuses because on a Sunday morning, the road clear. You could cruise in to Port of Spain. You get by QRC. You could park anywhere in the area there. The police will be there. Your vehicle is safe. It have no wrecking, no nothing like that taking place. It's the same thing we did last year. Nobody had any complaints. Okay? You come down, you come in, and let me tell you something. You get your warm-up, courtesy Empower Fitness. They're going to do the warm-up at 6 a.m. And then at 6.30 a.m., we go on. By 7.30 a.m., everybody should be back at QRC. And by that time, we will have the presentation and everything that has to take place. All of that will be executed right there. All the people with prizes and so on and so forth, you're going to get your prize. What I'm looking for, I want to get some football sponsored. Some footballs. I have a little idea with that football, with the footballs that I want to do. So if anybody interested in sponsoring some footballs, let me know. All right? But get registered. To register, it is register online. Look at it on, on the screen right now at trinbegoevents.com. Walk-in registration takes place at Adams Optical, Shogonas and San Fernando, the Diabetes Association, Success Street in Shogonas, and at Synergy TV, RPT Avenue, Woodbrook, between the hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m., Monday to Friday, right here. The last two weeks, it will be the hours will be extended, but for now, 11 to 4, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Get registered. I want to see a thousand people or more out there or they start putting all yourself in the mindset that, listen, I need to come out. Not for anything political or anything like that, but it's a great cause. I want to support it. I'm coming out. Put yourself in that practice, and you'll be surprised to see how your mindset will change towards certain things especially when you meet me in person all right so i'll tell you what we got some birthdays let me get to the birthdays here we only have a few we don't have much so we should run through this oh yeah we should run through this rather quickly and get to the begging all right happy birthday um today's the eighth yeah boys the eighth we are 20 days sir and stefan runway all right so 8th of april uh, we want to say happy birthday to Gloria Budan of Jeffers Crossing on Tabakit, Rio Claro Road. Uh, this greeting is coming from her loving sisters, including Pamela and others. Also, greetings are coming from DJ Parry and from a special friend, Sam Dei Maharaj of Sisters Road, Busy Corner. And we all wish her long life with good health. Well, long life and good health to you. I hope I see you on the 28th. All right? Nice. Also, good morning, Stefan. Happy 28th anniversary to our dad and mom, Davinon and Sandy Budlal Singh, celebrating it on the 7th of April. And this is coming from their two sons, Dylan and Divan Budlal Singh, uh, all of Union Village in Mayaro. And um, thanks, thanks, and keep up the great work. Well, no problem. I will try to keep it up. But happy anniversary to you guys. And um, it's their 28th anniversary. Well, since it's the 28th anniversary, all should come to run Stefan run on the 28th of April. All right. Happy belated birthday to my good friend, Mr. My partner, my brother, Andy the Pitbull Williams. Hey, Andy birthday today? Don't make joke. So Andy Williams celebrates his birthday today. And um, of course, he's on 104.7 FM. And um, let me see. Oh, yeah. The person is saying they know you had a good one yesterday, bro. This is coming from, um, oh God, the person didn't put a name, you know. Oh, uh -huh. this is coming from Ravi, a.k.a. Postman.com. Uh, also from his daughter, his mom, his father, and the rest of the family. All right, and they want him to keep doing, uh, keep doing the amazing job that you're doing. And don't forget um, Andy for Grandy. Andy going up in Grandy? Andy for Grandy. Oh yeah, look at on the t-shirt. Andy for Grandy, Papa, yo. Eh, eh. Well, eh, eh. well, look eyeball. Eh, eh. Um, belated happy birthday to Celine, coming from your mom Maureen and Auntie June, Uncle Karmat and Roy, Roy Roynald, or 
Okay, I'm, I'm seeing Roynald here, and she celebrated her birthday yesterday. So happy birthday to you, Celine. Um, who else we have? Right, three more. Uh, happy birthday to my wonderful son, Stefan, uh, from his loving dad, Wayne, um, his mom, Sylvia, sister, Stephanie, and his sugar pie niece, Skyla, and most importantly, his girlfriend, Sasha, uh, wishing you health, strength, and success on your new endeavors. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, my brother. Happy birthday going out to Stefan, man. But you should be in run, Stefan run, yeah. Uh, happy birthday to Ina from Florida. This is coming from her children, Vinush, um, Omali, Avi, and Vinda. Wishing her good health and strength and a long life. So, Ina, happy birthday to you. And finally, we're going to say hi, good day. I'd like to say happy birthday to Ria Dulam Singh. A wonderful, kind-hearted, hard-working, loving, fun, beautiful person inside and out. And we wanted to know that she is loved and appreciated more than she knows. May God continue to bless her tremendously with all the good things in life. Her birthday was yesterday, Sunday, the 7th of April. Um, thanks, Stefan, and your awesome staff. Stay blessed. Well, happy birthday going out to Ria. All right, Ria, we hope you see her in the run on Sunday, the 28th of April. All right, people. With that, just before I get into this issue, um, I apologize to Newsday. Bloodletting is a term. Um, I'm, I wasn't too familiar with it, I must say. Um, so, uh, you know, I always learning something every day, too. Huh? I forget you, boy, I just saw. But I thought he said, yeah, one thing. Today's also our director's birthday. Should I call your government name? So what I say, happy birthday to the director? Chris, what are we supposed to say? Happy, happy birthday, director? Yeah. All right, so we had to say, Chris, go and buy a kiss cake. We go, we go game. A... <laughs> we had to say, happy birthday to the director, celebrated his birthday today as well. All right, happy, happy birthday, um, well, director. I can't call him by your real name. He said, you want your government name on here. All right. Oh, yeah, bloodletting um, basically means the violent killing and wounding of people during a war or conflict all right so yeah bloodletting it wasn't it wasn't a, a type it was a, it's a word it's a term all right so i learned something new today bloodletting i never heard that term before all right child put up the the the, the child beggars to me because the ttps all right let's get on to this we'll take some calls on this too um let me get the article here my good, friendly police officer, friendly neighborhood police officer, um, superintendent, I think it's C C superintendent, yeah, superintendent Claire Guy Allen has said that action is coming against public beggars. Now, she says the police and their partner agencies will be taking strong action against people who engage in public begging and exploit children in doing so. Now, she made this comment during a public inquiry into child labor held by the Parliament's Human Rights, Equality and Diversity Committee at the Red House on Friday, saying, quote, we have concerns about what's happening, um, or what appears, sorry, to be locals as well as migrants begging on the streets. The police, she continues, sometimes take a soft approach to these cases. We try to warn persons, say, listen, you are exposing yourself to danger. Stop doing this on the highways and byways. The police have recently realized this practice is not stopping. Guy Allen said, quote, so we have decided that we will partner with other agencies, but I'm not letting the cat out of the bag because this could be a preventative way as well, um, letting the public know as well what we are going to do as the police. The police are joining forces with the Children's Authority and Immigration Division. Now, what happened is that there was this committee that met. Now remember I said to you all not too long ago, have you realized how many people are begging? They're all outside the ATM machines. They're on the highway holding posters. They're on all the back roads, by roads, and anywhere you turn. Begging. 
I cannot remember any time in Trinidad history that I have ever seen so many people on the road begging. There are some migrants right there by the stadium traffic lights. They beg on a daily basis and they come out with a baby. Yeah? There are people that use children for sympathy to beg. The other day, I'm going into the bank. I'm going by the ATM there, by Republic Bank on, 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 um, on Arapita Avenue there, opposite Adam Smith Square. It have a woman that sit there begging. Almost every day she sits there and begs. So, I and the next guy was walking in. And the fella like he, he not in a good mood. Right? But on his way out now, she begging and she saying, but look, look, he vex me because I begging. Don't vex me because I begging, you know, I, not, I, I can't do nothing else. I had to come out here and beg. That was she telling the man now, but the man looked back at her and say, you feel I vex that you begging? Right? He said, Miss Lady, I have my own problems, you know. And he jumped in his car and he left. But imagine that. She thinking that the man vex. Because she begging him. But you have a right to be, to be vexed. If every time I go to an ATM, you there sitting down to beg. You didn't think you could aggravate me at some point in time or the other, but the point is it wasn't that he was aggravated for that. The man have his own struggles. And that's the next thing. The people that begging on the side of the road, they figure because you're not begging, like you don't have problems, you know. They know your problems ten times there, you know. Because while they could go and sit down on an empty um, beer case or walk with a chair to sit down, there's walk with a chair, you know. To sit on a chair, you know. They have a fold out chair, you know. And they sit and beg their whole day, you know. They are become they have become, not are becoming, it, it has become a nuisance. I'm sorry to say. But to the lady who say she can't do nothing else. Family, you finding yourself out of somewhere that you live in to make your way to sit down outside an ATM every day to say, I could get something, I could get something, you could give me a little help out. You doing that every single day, seven days a week. Don't tell me it's not something else you could be doing. Miss me with that. You understand? But the police are looking to act now. Other issues were brought up like the vendors that sell on the highway and walk on the white line and that kind of thing. They sell. Now, I think that's just part of the culture, but these fellas trying to make an honest living. If you remove them from that, what are they doing? They're not out there begging. Begging and, 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 and selling or trying to conduct some sort of business or hustling. Let me put it as hustling. Because I would do it in, in, in simple terms. They're hustling. They're, they're on the hustling. They're on the grind. And they're selling on the highway. And sometimes they come in handy too. But I know easy work they're doing, you know, to stand up up there and walk up and down a white line all day. You understand? But I understand the concern. But the concern should be their safety. But I don't think that they're begging. Because all of that was asked and certain questions and so on and so forth was put forward but we have to ask ourselves how did we end up in a situation where begging has become a nuisance because the government telling you the state of economy nice man it recovering it booming well if that is the case how come we have so many people begging on the side of the road two three five five three two five it's a serious issue Particularly because children are, are usually out there and children are being used. Hello, good morning. Morning, Stefan. I'll give the government a clap for this one. It's about time they clamp down on that. Uh -huh. So much people using children. And the thing is, it's a set of beggar maids. And if you have to give everybody a C, it have an Indian one. It's 22 years now she begging. She always have children. She yeah. just be when Trin shops at Trin City Mall open, she would have two-month-old baby. I stop and I say, hey, I call police, well, you know, she tubes. Anyway, she see me, she don't like me. She's the mm. Price Plaza, Grand Bazaar, Val Park. 
anyway, she yeah. was begging. And the thing about it, people begging, and then you have some of your own family, that some of them will be beggar maids too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, darling, no problem. 2355325, we are 27 minutes away from the hour of 8 o'clock. i got a break to take, and then we'll come back with a couple things, and then we'll take another, and then we'll cruise off. But hello, good morning. Morning. Hello. Yeah, morning, man. Yeah. Because begging is easier than working. Well, well, it, it, it appears so. Easier than working. But would you agree that it has become a nuisance? Well, it's not a nuisance, but it's easier for them. Yeah, but I mean, you, you have seen an increase. I'm going to ask in your caller. Um, not, not saying that it's easier for them and, and that kind of thing. Just asking you. Have you noticed that more people seem to be begging on the side of the road? Definitely. And I mean, I yeah. think, but, but I think it's time the police, the police do something about that. I, I, I think it reached that stage. I agree. No, no. With you. no, no. But it's too late. You feel so? No. All right, no problem. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. You don't seem to be a man of many words. All right, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. But thanks to the call caller. I like to hear the new voices and the new callers, man. All right, we going again. Morning. Oh, okay. All right. So we're taking some calls on this. Now, um, one of the members mentioned of the committee, one of them mentioned it, like how does this apply to the nuts man and how does this apply to the people that wipe um, these windscreens, the windscreen wipers when you stop by the traffic lights. These fellas that come in to, to wipe your windscreen. Now, like I said, I would not term them to be beggars because they're offering a legitimate service for a dollar. A beggar to me is somebody that just sits there and just begs. Like, I think it was yesterday morning, either yesterday morning or Saturday morning, I was going across by my neighbor. A woman just stopped, just to see me walking the gate, you know. I go in the gate by my neighbor. And, hello, um, here what happened now? My brother just died. I said, family, here what's going on? <laughs> you see, today, I'm up for the story. I'm, I'm up for the fairy tales today. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, brother. Yeah, man, cool. The begging, the begging is an industry now, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, it become an industry in turn. So we can make money, and if somebody beg and they make 200 per day, it's a beggar that make that for the day, and they can make that, and it's an industry. Yeah, easily. It's it, it, it not more hardship. Mm -hmm. It's an industry, it become an industry. And it's gone too far, but it's an industry now, it started off a little bit, little bit, no one. Yeah. Because if you start by ATM, like you say, you put in eight hours by ATM, or five, six hours or what. <laughs> I see people that give people twenty dollars, look ten dollars, start generous people. Yeah. It's an industry, but uh, I mean, is it? And they bring each other, they use each other, and also when they see a child, they both feel sympathetic. Yeah, yeah. And this is it, man. This is your idea, but uh, have right. a nice day, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You too. Um, the other thing that people do is they send their children out to these boxes of um of candy all hours of the, the, the day right now I know sometimes children you know they're selling they're selling up thing you know but but all of that all of that falls into the category of child labor hello good morning yeah morning morning yeah man the, the, the circumstances in the country has reached a situation where lots of businesses closing down and a lot of people are unemployed correct and they don't have any land they don't have any houses don't have anything so there's some mm -hmm. of them Resort to the to begging. To, to beg is not an easy thing. It takes a, a, a lot of courage to go outside there and do that. Yeah. But as a family unit, when you go outside there, sometimes the children are, accompany you and the children go outside, and it's wrong. And the entire team that was talking about all the different methods and so forth of trying to stop mm -hmm. this begging on the street. The, the question I'm asking is that when you arrest the parents, what happens, what to, happens the to the children? So we, we don't ever put the horse before the cat. We're putting the cat before the before horse. The horse. So we need to fix what is going on in the society first to get these people employed, to have social programs that will get them employed and, and, and have money, at least they will get food. Right. So, so many of the things that, 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 that we're talking about, where is it looking bad and, and, and we've seen people who for years begging, yes, some of them are really some nuisance. But at the same time, we have to look at what are the circumstances that will drive a person to do that. Mm -hmm. And we have the family, and look, all of these illegal people coming in and all too. They and their children outside here trying to sell water, have the children begging people in the past to buy water and all, the, all, all these kind of things. Yeah. So yes, they are vendors, but vendors are also beggars be begging people to, to buy for months. Okay. So, so the, the government have, have to reorganize, they have to look at things different. 
And I'm saying the government must go to my cop brother who talking. Where is the cop? Who is the leader? How many members they have? <laughs> You know why you try to write right write NTA back to get back into the UNC? Oh, come on, man. Wake up, wake up. All your intellectual I smart men. I know somebody that I don't know what I get in the back and I said this morning, Stefan, stay on the back But I knew it was coming. Uh, 235, 325. Um, no, but what he's saying is true. It, you know, and there's the culture as well. Eh? It's becoming a cultural thing. Eh? We have certain things that is cultural. Hello, good morning. I'll explain you what I mean. Yeah, good morning. Morning, um, man. This is your legacy after earning over fifty, over three trillion dollars in this economy. Mm -hmm. This is the legacy of the PLM, where we have a nation of beggars, 175 billion US dollars in debt and mismanagement, which is causing all of the crimes in the society. Right. So we will continue to have more beggars. We are a nation of beggars now because of the PNM. 60 years of PNM rule. Hmm. Mismanagement, misspending, and corruption. Wow. 60 years. I, I don't know when people say enough is enough. Right. Be a nation of beggars, that's what we have become. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I even... even <laughs> Some would say even the government has been begging for money too. <laughs> Look at what ten billion dollars more in terms of ceiling for loan and all kind of dogs are they begging? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, Look, it's a serious thing, but it is a reflection of the state of affairs of the country. Because I mean, common sense tells you. That when your economy is, is, is blossoming, when your economy is doing well, um, it's like the Prime Minister told his PRO for, of the Youth League, when he asked the question about what we're doing about all these, youth, youth, uh, these young people that are coming out of university and think about the degrees and so on and so forth. And then they can't get a job. And he said, well, you know, when the economy is doing well, the private and the public sector does well, and you get employment. So if, if, if the employment is not there and people are resorting to hitting the streets to beg and then using their children to do so, then that, that, that is a reflection of the economy not doing well. That is a reflection of Trinidad and Tobago not doing well, either from incompetence, no innovation, or just pure mismanagement. It's, it's one of the things. Because we haven't heard any fresh ideas, nothing at all. I haven't heard any ideas come out of the administration in the last eight or nine years. To say, well, okay, that's a good idea. I could see that Trinidad and Tobago and the, the, the future to come, the generations to come, will benefit from this particular program or initiative or something down the road. That is sustainable for the next 20 to 30 years. I haven't heard any plan like that. I see Ole Blinken, he like Ole take a call. Morning. Yeah, morning, go ahead. Yeah, morning. Uh, my question is this. Uh, what they need to do, even though, yes, they can be a news, they need to find out when they go to arrest these people or whatever way they want to apprehend them, they need to do an interview mm -hmm. and get the status of the person. Is it really a fact that they need? And then where does the social services and where does children's yeah. authority come into come ensuring in, yeah. that these people are given some sort of support? You see, at the end of the day, you just can't say, let me get them out the street because they're a nuisance. So if the, 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 the mother, uh, you want to get at the children, so if the mother doesn't come out, who's going to look after the children at home? Yeah. You see, they have to look at it from a, a social point of view, whether this thing is real whether the person had no other choice but to beg. And then even if you do get a job for the mother, let's assume that the father is, no long, is, is not wrong. What are you going to do about the children? Yeah. You see, we have a deeper problem. Because we're talking about children at all, we're talking about making sure that somebody is at home to take care of the children. But then if you're a single parent, and therefore there's nobody to take care of your children, what are you going to do? So the government needs to look at these things. 
with a program in place to ensure some level of sustainability and maintenance of the lifestyle of these people. So yeah. therefore, you need to separate the goat from the sheep. Who is truly doing it as a profession? You need to identify that. And that could only come through a particular interview process. So it's not just the hand of the law that coming down. This has new sense. No, we need to examine every single case every single thing. and then send the statistic to us the citizen let mm. us say look okay we interviewed a thousand beggars and 800 were really in need and this is what we have in place to deal with them because it's not just people that i don't think it's but i just want to beg at times because somebody said it you know uh, people have pride in themselves nobody likes to go there and stretch a hand just like that that's mm. my view by the way so thank you very much all right man no problem thanks a lot and well said i think it takes a combination of things he said it correctly um, there are certain things that you have to, to put in place from a social development standpoint. Um, and that, I mean, listen, the discussion will continue because I'm sure that you're going to hear a little more from this, about this, um, you know, in time to come. But it's something serious that we have to look at as a society, but it is a reflection of not only the state of the economy, but the performance of, 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 of those that are in charge of, of, of managing the state of affairs of the country. I mean, they can't tell me that they're not looking around and seeing this going on. You understand? If I'm, if I'm a government official and I'm driving, I'm going to the ATM and I see somebody begging. I remember, remember Fitzgerald Hines was begged once and he, he told, he, he sped off and he said he felt energized. He blanked the man to $20, there, but he sped off, remember? So even a government minister has been subject to, to, to being begged. So, so haven't you, in, you know, for me, it's about inquiring. Why are you begging? Why are you out here? What's your problem? Where you're good at? Where's your trade? Where's your, you know, why, why, why? There must be a reason why that person is out there. But if you don't show concern in finding out the why, then we could never fix the problem. But we'll be back after this. Stay tuned. On Sunday, May 12th, starring Marsha Griffiths and Friends. I see the fire spreading. Freddie McGregor. I'm a longing to see you. I want to know how. Tanya Stevens. Busy Signal. Itana. Kimani Marley. David. Lady G. Cotty Rang. Tony Gregory. Dwayne Stevenson. And special guest live performance with Christopher Ellis. Lots of other special guest artists performing live. The Art of Reggae. Sunday, May 12th. At 5001 Flamingo Road in Miramar. Purchase tickets online now at carabtix.com forward slash Art of Reggae. For more info, Marsha Griffiths and Friends at gmail.com. Marsha Griffiths and Friends on Sunday, May 12th. Celebrating 60 years. And remember, enough surprise special guest artists. Don't miss it. Powered by the Art of Reggae Music Festival and I, and I Radio. Are you trying to overcome your predicaments? Chandra Guruji is a highly experienced astrologer. He will decode your name, date of birth, face, palm lines and describe to solve your inner world problems, personality traits, love life, finances, professional life and your future life. Expert in bringing X back, eliminating bad energy and much more. Call Guruji at plus one eight six eight three six four seven six three eight. Limited period offer. Get reading at $30 today and save $70. Green Dot continues to deliver internet connectivity to a wide range of communities in Trinidad. With our combination fiber and wireless network, you get the service you need wherever you live. Stream your favorite shows, enjoy online tuition, stay in touch with your work team, and connect with friends and family with internet service at a price you can afford. As communities continue to grow, we continue to deliver. Call 224-GDOT or visit gd.tt today. Green Dot, improving and simplifying lives. The best buys and best savings are at JTA Supermarkets. Happy Coconut Milk Powder, 5 for $19.99. Maribel Peas and Carrots, 3 for $19.99. Island Pride Sardines, 4 for $19.99. Santa Rosa Chicken Vienna Sausage, 4 for $19.99. May Pride Sweet Kernel Corn, 3 for $19.99. Mabel's Peanut Butter, 2 for $19.99. Easy Wrap Aluminum Foil, 2 for $19.99. Carlton's Choice Paper Tower Roll, 4 for $19.99. And Island Pride Laundry Detergent, 2 for $19.99. And so much more. Specials valid until April 7th, 2024. JTA Supermarkets, where your total bill always costs less. 
Unlock the door on a global journey to invest in real estate in the United States. Introducing Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Their real estate experts will guide you through every step of buying, selling, leasing, and business sales, providing a seamless experience as you invest or relocate. Explore a diverse range of properties from beachfront, condos, luxury, residential, and commercial, and unlock the incredible opportunities the United States has to offer. Their affiliated companies provide property management, property insurance, financing, and so much more. So let them guide you through the process, ensuring a smoother transition. With offices conveniently located in South Florida, you can contact them today and let your international real estate adventure begin. Call them directly at 1-561-459-4361 or WhatsApp 1-561-574-2846. Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Offering respect, relationships, and results. My parents' generation grew up with Royal Castle from the first restaurant in 1968 when that distinctive, tempting aroma hit the air. Like never before, fried chicken with a special blend of local seasonings and a one-of-a-kind flavor down to the bone. Today, Royal Castle still have that same delicious taste and I love it too. And the kids, they have more to enjoy. For me, the castle is more than just nice food. It's we own, part of me and you and is the real flavor of TNT. Calling all runners for the biggest 5K event of 2024 with over $30,000 in cash and prizes, including a $5,000 first prize up for grabs and medals for all participants. And one lucky person will win a trip for two to Grenada, worth $10,000 courtesy GG's Travel. Run, step on run, 5K and fun one with part proceeds going to the Diabetes Association of TNT. Sunday, 28th April, warm up courtesy Empower Fitness at 6 a.m. Race starts at 6 6.30 a.m. sharp at QRC. Register online at TrembegoEvents.com or walk-in registration at Diabetes Association, Success Street in Chaguanas, Adams Optical, Chaguanas, and San Fernando, and Synergy TV, Arapita Avenue, Woodbrook. For more info, go to Stephen Reese Production on Facebook or call 7302588 or 4825531. Sunday, April 28th. Compete, support sport, and support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, roti makers. Try Chic Leisha high quality unbleached bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Bleached flour and bromate flour is treated with chemicals that can cause cancer and this is banned in Europe and many other countries. Chic Leisha flour offers a healthier option being that it's unbleached and bromate free. It also has a finer grain and a softer texture. Lower priced and conveniently packaged in 2 pound, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. Available at groceries and supermarkets. Markets. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiclisha Limited at 665-3336 or 480-8715 or visit them at Warrenville Canopia. Chiclisha Limited, quality you can trust. Air conditioning problems? Then look no further. A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an easy solution for all your automotive, commercial, and domestic air conditioning needs. With two convenient locations to serve you, A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an extensive range of parts and services, including pressure test kits, refrigerator sports, front and rear evaporators for maxi taxis. They also cater for both foreign and local automobile models like Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, and more. So pay them a visit today at either of their two locations. Number 36 Alfonso Street, San Grande. Phone 784-2707 or 386-5700. And number 133 Corner Rolling Street and Bonaventure Mayo Gasparillo. Phone 312-2245 or 782-9720. All right, so we're back on Breaking Dawn this morning. And uh, just before we wrap up, there's a few things that, um, just a couple of things I wanted to show. Um, director, give me the robbery clip now. It, uh, um, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll talk through it. This was amazing to me. This is how, this is how <laughs> numb we have become to crime in Trinidad. We go, watch a youth man in the white jersey swinging his arm. The two fellas here robbing the place, you know. 
My boy in the line waiting to cash, you know. Fellas rob the place, they're gone. He put his soft drink on the counter and he's ready to pay. No, seriously, look. He absent minded. I think he just accustomed. Well, I really don't know what you're supposed to do in that particular stand. I, I don't know. Small man doesn't mind the business answer, look. Look, I come to pay for my, look, I wait to pay for my ticket, you know, let me up and rub the place, you know. I want to pay for my, where are you, you swinging there, that's what? What kind of soft drink that is, boy? Wherever it is, my, well, he had the intention to pay. This was amazing to me. My boy just walk up, put a drink on the counter. <laughs> yeah, he money in the hand, he ready to pay. We think we think going through the cash on mine at that point. The cashier would have been traumatized. Oh, good. Hey, Lord, Father, I right, dare come back to me. And it had another customer in the store as well, in green. No, but seriously, you know, in some cases, this is just how it is. We just numbed it. It's like the norm. Another reflection of the, of the state of the economy is that people, some people choose to beg. Some people choose to go and rob. One way or the other, they had to get money to, put, to, to buy whatever they're buying. You understand? Anyway, on a positive note, while we look at the, the state of the affairs of Trinidad and Tobago, um, there was a guy from maybe the UK, I think it is, that put out a video on Pigeon Point Beach, and it was circulating over the weekend. Take me to Pigeon Point now. Right, this must be the nicest beach in the Caribbean. So right now, I'm at Pigeon Point Heritage Park and have a look at this. This has to be the nicest beach in the Caribbean. I feel they made this into a heritage park in around about the 90s. I'm not too sure on the history, but you have to pay 20 TT dollars. That's about £2.20 to come into the here. It's absolute paradise. You guys live where we vacation tobago is a, such a blessed country such an amazing country look at this this is paradise so yeah you have to pay 20 tt dollars to get in here but i think that's worth it because that keeps the beach clean you have facilities and look at that that is absolute paradise and you guys have this right on your doorstep it's absolutely amazing it's a nice sunny day but look at all the colors as well that honestly does that not look like a postcard i think i've seen that on a postcard before so yeah people will save up for years and years just to come to a beach like this to vacation and tobagonians you've got this right on your doorstep really is paradise really is amazing so yeah, everyone take care god bless have a brilliant day and i'll see you all soon well i've seen for years tobago should be the jewel of the caribbean Trinidad should be the entertainment hub of the Caribbean. But you have visionless people at the helm. They have no vision. You see what the guy just said there? Somebody asked me the other day, they said, Stefan, you ever go to America or you ever go to Canada? And I said, What are you going there for? And it's like, Well, to vacation. I said, why would I go there to vacation? I said, have you realized that people from Canada, people from the UK, people from Europe, people from America, they come to the Caribbean to vacation? So why I don't go, why I can't go on vacation in Antigua, 365 beaches, one for each day in the year? Why can't I go get one vacation in Barbados? They come to the Caribbean to vacation. 
It's their getaway. That's how nice it is. You hear what the brother said? It right on your doorstep. People save for years and years and years to come to a place like this on a vacation. And all you have it on your doorstep. And my thing is, what are we doing with it? What are we doing with it? We just have it. Trinidad and Tobago is blessed with so much. Not just oil and gas, you know. But you see, your leaders rather focus on oil and gas because they know that is a sector you do not understand. You see? You don't understand the oil and gas sector, the large majority of people in Trinidad and Tobago. They just know Trinidad have oil and gas. But if you ask them if they understand the sector, how much money we, 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 we get in revenue from that sector, if, we start, if you ask them to break down or give you an understanding of the energy sector in Trinidad and Tobago, how it is run, ABC, XYZ, the large majority of people can't tell you, but tourism is easier to understand. Tourism is easier to understand. And when something is easier to understand, people are more likely to ask questions. So right now, people don't ask questions because the large majority of money that Trinidad and Tobago makes come from a sector that they don't understand. So what kind of questions can they ask? All we can say is simple and basic things like, where the money gone? But we really never break it down because we do understand it. Tourism is different. Because when it comes to tourism, and you have people coming into your country, the basic man on the ground is exposed to those visitors. Because they come in to purchase this. They might need a taxi to drive them to here. They, have to, they, they want to go and visit the beaches. They need a little tour guide. They need, you know, the tour guide going to take them to other little places. And the average man on the street will understand what is taking place there. I know some people mightn't think I'm making sense here, you know, but I know exactly why I'm telling all you. Know. The rest of the Caribbean is striving. Their entire economy is based on tourism. But a white man from the UK had to do a video to tell you, look, you have it on your doorstep. What are you doing with it? An entire sector that we're not capitalizing on that could create revenue, and not only revenue, jobs. It can create jobs. Jobs for the basic educated people. Basic education. And you can get a job right there once you have a thriving tourism sector. Right? You know much, you know much study you have to do and course you have to do to get into the energy sector? But we rather feed a few and leave the majority to staff. People, enjoy the rest of your Monday. And uh, we will be back tomorrow to do it all over again. I've got two interviews tomorrow, one with Seth. And we also have um, another interview um, as it relates to um, an event of sorts that's happening. Um, so we have those two interviews tomorrow. Tomorrow is like a Friday. It's the day before the holiday. No chef, no food. But, you know, we'll have something pretty interesting to talk about, I would imagine. So have a blessed day. And remember, register for Run Stefan Run. We coming out. The five k and fun walk is on. Lots of prizes to be won. Be part of the biggest five k ever in Trinidad and Tobago. And remember, when we finish with this five k, it have other sports that we're going to be targeting. Right? I want to throw a hundred thousand dollar weekend football tournament, hockey post. But all the way in time to come as crazy say. Until tomorrow, have a great day. Morelli, Morelli, Morelli. For something as uniquely crafted as your eyes, you should have lenses made with the most care and precision. At Adams Optical, our mission is to deliver optimal eye care. Our three branches are conveniently located in Rio Claro, San Fernando, and Chagones. Come in today for a free comprehensive eye exam.
we have full single vision or bifocal glasses from just $5.95. Adams Optical, we care for your eyes. Adams Optical. Forget about bucket lists. We want to know what's on your best life list. Vacation, education, renovation, celebration. Live your best life with Island Finance. Visit a branch near you or islandfinancetrinidad.com and live your best life now. You can depend on Island Finance. Subject to credit approval and documents verification. Jazz and wine, or is it Beyond Jazz and Wine? Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Set a stage, the queen amongst the kings, powerhouse vocalist, Mauricia Kagan, saxophone specialist, Malcolm Boyce, versatile and captivating, Sigu Rankin, panist extraordinaire, Dane Galston, with his band, Live Sweet Bread, and the chosen one, Ja Melody, will get you off your seats. This event is definitely Beyond Jazz and Wine. Experience this musical journey at the enchanting outdoor garden theater at Queen's Hall. Transform into an oasis fit for kings and queens. Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Limited early bird tickets available at Java Nation, Queen's Park East and online at islandetickets.com or call 737-2373. Jazz and Wine. Experience the sweetness over and over again. Join Open Minds Education, where education is so much more. It's about friends, family and relationships, and a lifetime of learning, where they work hard and play hard. Open Minds is 100% online and private for students from preschool to Form 5. They offer CSEC subjects and a world of non-academic life skill experiences. At Open Minds, students are heard, parents are involved, and the teachers are passionate. Register today at www.openminds.education. Call or WhatsApp. 388-6635 or 377-6635. Open minds because education is so much more. If you're planning an event, make us your first option. At Reality of a Dream, we can make your event memorable. We can assist in planning your corporate functions, moderate gatherings, family occasions, christenings, and more. We also cater for weddings and other special occasions. Our newly renovated venue includes a majestic entryway, which takes you along a path to a fantastic indoor facility, which can accommodate up to 80 dining guests. A recently completed, fully air-conditioned, beautifully designed wing, which maintains the theme and flow of reality of a dream, adds 30 extra seats for dining guests. In total, we can now seat a total of 110 dining guests. Come see for yourself the splendor that awaits you. Walk along the path and make your way to the breathtaking, well-maintained swimming pool and gazebo, and also the entire grounds of Reality of a Dream. We've also updated the Dream Suite, which comes with all modern conveniences, where guests can enjoy the feeling of an exquisite retreat overlooking the entire area. Reality of a Dream caters to professional events. We provide secured parking for guests, so call us at 332-6880 and ask for Harriet. Located at number 15 Moses Avenue, San Juan. Reality of a dream. Making dreams come true every day. Air conditioning problems? Then look no further. A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an easy solution for all your automotive, commercial, and domestic air conditioning needs. With two convenient locations to serve you, A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an extensive range of parts and services, including pressure test kits, refrigerator sports, front and rear evaporators for maxi taxis. They also cater for both foreign and local automobile models like Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, and more. So pay them a visit today at either of their two locations. Number 36 Alfonso Street, San Grande. Phone 784-2707 or 386-5700. And number 133 Corner Rolling Street and Bonaventure Main Road, Gasparillo. Phone 312-2245 or 782-9720. 